Hernino here and welcome to yet another unboxing video on my channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Infinix S5 Pro. This was announced in March of this year and released in April but I'm just getting my hands on this one and it's never too late to do an unboxing of these phones and you get to hear my own take on how I feel about this device. But before we get started it will be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications to be notified when I post new videos like this one. So here we have the Infinix S5 Pro and its box is very similar to what we had in the Infinix Note 7 green gradients all around it and uh, I kind of like how it looks here uh, but nothing much with the box here let's just go through the specifications of this phone so we have a phone with 128 gigabytes storage and 6 gigabytes of RAM it's got a 4000 million power battery capacity um, it's running on Android 10 it's got a 40 megapixel front-facing camera it's got a 48 megapixel plus 2 megapixel depth sensing and a QVGA triple camera at the rear uh, for the processor we have a Helio P35 octa-core processor on this one it supports the 4G 3G and 2G networks you also have a 1080p screen on this one it's a 6.53 inch full HD screen it's an IPS LCD panel so that's it for the specifications on this phone if you want to know more about the in-depth specifications I believe in down on the screen you can pause your screen at this point to see the specifications but let's go straight into the unboxing so I'm just gonna get this out here so the first thing you're presented with here is the Infinix S5 Pro on the top of the box. We're going to set this aside for now. Well, let's take a look at what we have in the box here. So we've got some customer service card here and we've got our scene ejector tool, a screen protector. It's a flimsy screen protector. We've got an X Club membership card and then we've got a TPU case in the box and it's nice when they include these TPU case. At least it provides initial protection for your device until you're able to get something really good. So next up in the box, we have a 10 watt charger. We have a micro USB to USB A cable and we got a pair of earphones. That's all you get in the box. Let's take a look at the phone itself and see what the Infinix S5 Pro has to offer. Now, in terms of the first feel in hand, it feels a bit weighty. And this one here comes in at 195 grams. That's not that bad in my opinion. But from what I can see here from the back of this device, it looks a lot like the Techno Camon 15 Premier. In fact, these designs are extremely similar. But let's take off the plastic here. Wow, and that looks quite cool. I love the gradient feel of this one, the purple gradient here. Now let's take off the screen here. All right, so this is what the Infinix S5 Pro looks like. Very similar to the Techno Camon 15 Premier. In fact, I feel like they share design card drawings between Infinix and Techno. But let's take you around the device and see where port placements and button placements are. So at the bottom of the device, we have the micro USB port, we have our speaker grills, we have a microphone cutout and a 3.5 millimeter headphone port. At the top of the device, we have that pop-up camera uh, module over there. To the right of the device, we have our volume and power buttons. And to the left, we have our bay for the SIM card and micro SD card expansion slots. To the back of the device, we have that triple camera module consisting of a 48 megapixel main wide angle camera, a two megapixel depth sensing camera, and a QVGA camera. We've also got a fingerprint sensor to the middle of the back there. And going up front, we have speaker grills on the top there, and you have no notch on this phone. It is a notchless phone, and that's because the camera pops up on this one that's the front facing camera pops up on this one so that's it for the specifications and the overall look of this device let's turn on this bad boy i'm going to throw in my information and then give you my first thoughts on the infinix s5 pro all right guys so i throw in my details but before we go through the software and performance of this phone i specifically want to talk about the build quality here um, now you've got a very glossy and as you can see fingerprint prone back plates here and it's made of plastic and the front here is made from 
glass and it looks good i mean this is a 1080p screen and the screen already looks good in my opinion in my last video of the infinix note 7 i said that the 720p screen there was gorgeous and a lot of people came for me and they wanted to have my head but you know sometimes it's not always about the specs on the paper sometimes you just have to experience these phones for yourself to know if they're good or not I said it looked gorgeous and I meant it. That screen looked gorgeous. And this screen here is even better. This is an absolute beautiful screen that Infinix has put on the S5 Pro. I'm really, really impressed by this screen here. In terms of performance, we've got a phone here that's running the Helio P35 processor. It's an octa-core processor clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and we're running the PowerVR GE8320 GPU on this one. But how does it perform? I haven't had any issues on this one. In fact, I think it performs quite decently as you can see on your screen right now, me opening apps from page to page, everything just flies. And I'm quite impressed with the performance on this phone. I know a lot of you out there are sick and tired of seeing the Helio P35 processor on smartphones, but this is the way Infinix keep the prices of these phones down. If the processor was any higher, this phone would be more expensive than what it is right now. So I'm just going to run through a couple of apps here to see how well they perform. So let's do Gmail here and as you can see loaded pretty fast. This is the settings page. This is Google Calendar here. This is Play Store. Let's go in and load YouTube. And you can see that this processor actually handles this phone pretty well. This is Google Drive and everything loads quite decently and quite fast. And I'm kind of impressed with the optimization that Infinix has done on this phone using the Helio P35 processor. And again, let's check out the screen quality here in terms of videos, how the videos look on this one. Remember, this is a 1080p screen. So we're going to be checking out a YouTube video here to see how video looks and how audio sounds. So as you can see by yourself, the picture quality on this one is really impressive. Being an IPS LCD panel, we don't have those very deep blacks that the AMOLED panels have. But I'm very impressed with the picture quality on this thing. It looks pretty decent. Let's give it some volume and see what that sounds like. Right, there you go. We just have a single firing button facing speaker here. And um, let's just see how it sounds when we muffle it. It sounds pretty good in my opinion. There really is not much bass like you have in the bigger phones out there. But again, this isn't a flagship device, so you get what you pay for. So in terms of gameplay, the Infinix S5 Pro handles gaming really well. That Helio P35 is quite decent in terms of its performance on gaming on this phone. And I'm really impressed with the way it performs. I played Johnny Trigger, I played UFC Fighting, and they all played really fine. I also loaded Call of Duty and it played just fine on this phone. So you'd not be disappointed with the gameplay on this phone. With the primary camera, you get good looking saturated photos with high dynamic range. You also get occasional overexposure, which is normal with mid range cameras. Photos generally look good overall with better results in well lit environments. Shooting with a 48 megapixel mode, you get better results, which you may not notice on the phone's screen, but when you crop in, you begin to see more details and even better colors. With a selfie camera, you get decent to average shots with occasional graininess in your shots. The photos are, however, usable if you won't be doing any printing or enlarging of those photos. Overall, I'd call the selfie camera a 6 out of 10 and the main camera a 7 out of 10. So in terms of the price of the Infinix S5 Pro, there are two variants available to you. There's the 64GB storage and 4GB of RAM variant and that goes for 79,000 Naira. And then there's the 128GB storage and 6GB RAM variant that goes for 96,000 Naira. So it's not that cheap but again, you know the situation of things with the exchange rate here in Nigeria. So guys, thanks for watching this unboxing and initial impressions on the Infinix S5 Pro. 
at 96,000 Naira for the 128 6 gigabyte variant and 79,000 Naira for the 64 gigabytes 4 gigabyte variant is this phone worth it well i feel like that's a personal choice to you i feel like the build quality here the materials used the screen and also the cameras are quite good on this phone and if you choose to go for this one you probably will not be disappointed in your purchase it's a bit steep but that's understandable we know how the situation of the dollar exchange rates here in the country is hence the high prices on these phones but this is a pretty good and decent phone and i like what i've used so far guys i'll be bringing you my full review on the infinix s5 pro in a couple of weeks and i'll be giving you the full lowdown about this phone on how it's handled itself over a one month period if you have any questions about this device you can leave them down in the comment section if you're not yet subscribed to the channel you can also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when i put up new videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace